Hey guys, got a new package today. Um, Stoked, this finally came. Um, in my other, one of my other videos, you saw me doing the Explore tablet with the GPS receiver, but uh, I decided to put that in my work bag. And uh, because it was just actually just too big to put in my uh, Bronco, but I, I still wanted a tablet, that a full time Windows tablet in my Bronco, so I could program my uh, fuel injection system, you know, program my ham radios via Chirp, and also run like SDR Sharp SDR radio. Um, this is actually an 8 inch tablet, and it's called a Toshiba Encore. It's the first generation Encore. And the reason why I chose this one versus the second generation uh, is this supposedly, from all the specs I could read, has a built-in uh, hardware GPS antenna. Um, and that's very unusual for a Windows uh, tablet. I mean, every just about every single Windows tablet I've ever seen doesn't have a built-in hardware GPS antenna. Um, so because I also wanted to be able to take this out with me, and pull this out of the uh, Bronco and, and do some, you know, if I have to walk out and bail out of the Bronco and grab my bailout bag or whatever, I have at least a GPS antenna. And uh, like I said, I mean, normally if I didn't have to run Windows applications for my fuel injection system, I'd, I'd probably just get an Android tablet. But because I might be using this, I need to use Windows apps. Um, I decided to look around for a tablet that had GPS. So um, I haven't even fired this up yet, so I'm gonna put it in the charger and charge it and um, I don't know if this what this actually has but if it's um, Windows 8.1 on there or I mean if it has Windows 8.1 I'm going to upgrade it to Windows 10 but um, guess we'll see I'm going to charge it for a few minutes and then I'll fire it up and uh, we'll see what's on there so cool stoke so yeah this is actually this this will fit my tablet mount on my car a lot better so I mean, the other one was just massive. I mean, it's it was an indestructible tablet with a built-in GPS, but it was just going to take up half my dashboard. So, um, all right, we'll get this going. Cool. Yeah, hopefully, you know, once I get it installed, and I'll hopefully uh, do a demonstration of the uh, actual real hardware GPS. So, um, but I'll, I'll in, in this video, I'll explain to you what the difference is between the a GPS and like the different ways a, a tablet can find your location. But this supposedly has a real hardware GPS antenna, so guess we'll find out. Hey guys, back here and um, just fire this up for the first time. It looks I'm gonna do a factory default, and a factory default it. You just hold the power and the plus sign volume key, and go through the settings here. Except, so I'm just gonna go through the questions like any kind of typical Windows install and. Uh, Skip. I want to register this thing and uh, next. All right. Well, I'll just go through this, get this going, and then I'll do a Windows 10 upgrade. So, all right. Hey guys, I know this camera sucks, but there you go. Uh, I actually, this is a Windows 10 upgraded from a Windows 8.1, and I actually have maps here, and these are some of my favorite camping spots or Yellow Post sites and uh, Big Bear. But I guess what I'm going to show you is that because this has been upgraded. Well, this thing might have crashed. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. Um, let's go to control panel. I'm still not a big. Uh, I'm still not sold on Windows 10. I mean, it's. You know, I still actually I still like Windows 7 the best. Okay, so I'm gonna go to administrative tools, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do right now. Because um, computer management. Um, there we go. Delayed. So I'm not getting the full space on my uh, C drive, and as you can see in those partitions, <clears throat> I this will focus in or not. It will, can't tell. But so you see all these different partitions, and these are actually like recovery partitions. And what the problem with that is they actually use up a lot of space. Like this one right here, that's like almost five gig. I mean, this is only a 32 gig flash drive or SSD drive. So um, yeah, like all this wasted space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this from a, uh, it's called a OTG cable or on the go cable and have a, I already have Windows 10. Um, I'm going to keyboard if you can see that shit. In bad light. So a little flash drive right there, micro flash drive, and I'm just going to stick it in there. Got to make sure you have a full charge because 
I don't know if it's just this cable, but I can't seem to charge and use the, use the uh, USB port at the same time, even though this cable is supposed to do that. So, um, but uh, so yeah, I'm gonna install that, a fresh copy Windows 10 and repartition this, this hopefully I get all the space out of this thing. And then, uh, yeah, I never like to upgrade versions of Windows, you know, from like from one version to another, just because I, I, I always feel like it doesn't, it's not 100%. Yeah, I mean, because you're taking settings from an old version of Windows, and kind of migrating them. So I usually like to do a, I like to, like once it's been upgraded and activated, you know, like to like a, you know, it makes us, uh, it, ma it basically binds this computer to Windows 10 and this thing will be permanently activated in, in Windows 10. So yeah, then I'm gonna go back to the load out, do the fresh install. And uh, it's weird, like and to get into the BIOS on this laptop, you hit the, the uh, volume uh, negative or down key and uh, power it on, so. All right, so I'm gonna do that and get the uh, process started. So, all right. Guys, it was actually the uh, volume positive key plus sign and then hold down the power button until you get to this boot screen here. And I want to hit USB memory and see if I can get this thing to boot into. I don't know, I, I can tell this is gonna be probably a pain in the ass to get this going. Yeah, it went back into my uh, thing so I'm just gonna keep on playing with it I get it to go all right cool so I'm creating a recovery drive um, even though I have Windows 10 on there I did the upgrade but I want to see if I can try to get a Windows 10 64 bit on this thing so I have an OTG cable the charging part doesn't work I don't know if you can see that it's, but so I'm creating the recovery drive just in case I mess this thing up I can at least try to recover it but um, it's like it already has Windows uh, 10 32 bit on it so but I do want to see if I can get. I, mean, I want to have. I want a fresh install because I want to delete that re, that recovery partition. That recovery partition is like four or five gig, just sitting there. So um, that's going to be the next step. Is to. Oh, actually, I'll show you the next step. I'm going to do a. Um, I don't know, tell this thing to reboot, recover, and do a boot to a USB disk. But I did buy a new. Put uh, the stables and bought a pretty cool. Um, I think it was twenty five bucks, but it. It's a micro USB on one side and it's USB on the other side and it's a 32 gig flash drive, USB 3.0, so. Uh, <clears throat> so. Actually, I have Windows 10 ISO installed on there, so bootable ISO. So that's gonna be the next step. Hopefully I can get it to go. I know it's not the best camera. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but <clears throat> what I found out from just trial and error is <clears throat> you cannot boot a 64-bit version of Windows on this tablet from a USB stick. So I've tried for at least an hour, two hours, burned multiple images, got I had three different flash drives, couldn't figure it out. Well, the thing is, the, the disk image I was trying to burn actually was uh, used by the Windows Media Creation Tool, and it had 32-bit and 64-bit on it. So that I went back and just uh, used Rufus to burn my uh, a 32-bit version of Windows 10 on there, and now it booted without a problem. So. But I still want 64-bit Windows on this thing, so I'm going to grab, just as an experiment, I'm going to grab my external CD-ROM with my little adapter cable here. Hook this up and see if I can get this thing to boot from a 64-bit version of Windows from a CD-ROM. All right, we'll play with, I, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. All right, cool. All right, so I always keep this uh, external USB ROM, CD-ROM for sometimes when I got to reload, reload firewall software. Um, a lot of these uh, computers don't actually have CD-ROMs, so uh, if I can't find, or for some reason I can't boot from a USB disk, I, I always uh, keep the CD-ROM here. But I have it connected to my cable here, my OTG cable, and uh, I'm gonna plug it in and try to reboot from this thing. And um, if I can't get the 64-bit uh, version of Windows to load that I'm just going to have to reformat with uh, Windows 10 32 bit, but I would try. You might have to do this without being hooked to power, so make sure you're charged 100%, which I am, and then I'll power this on and I'll come back. So, first, I'm going to try this uh, BIOS boot memory here, see if that goes. Um, I don't know if it's going to start doing anything or not down there, but 
yeah. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a restart from Windows and I'll show you that. All right, so this is not the ideal situation. I'm not on my test bench, I'm in my house. It's too hot in the garage today. So, actually, I'm gonna go to settings and then go to Windows updates. And then, if this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna do the damn 32 bit. And then go to advanced startup and then restart. And then I want to use a device and EFI CD ROM DVD. Just going to reboot one more time. And I don't know if that says that. It says it has no DVD boot option, so I think I might be ass out with the. Uh... Oh, that's my phone. Okay, I will um, be back. So, yeah, I guess I'm bumming 32 bit. Back here with the process, and I want to do a complete install. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I'm going to have to hook up a USB hub and keyboard because... Yeah, the, I forgot the... This is, it's, it's an odd... Uh, <clears throat> I forgot, you can't... Uh, it doesn't know it doesn't have the, the drivers for the uh, touch screen, so... Shit, 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 shit. All right. So the trick here is to have my OTG cable, then I have it connected to a USB hub right here, and then I have my little wireless keyboard here, and I'm gonna say okay. I want to do a clean installation. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna. Be able, I, I can't tell from this angle if you can even see that or not. So I said the whole reason of going through this hell. Well, I mean, I really, I wanted a 64-bit, but the main reason was just to get rid of that partition, that recovery partition that's using up five gig. So I'm sure there might be a better way of doing this, but I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, so I've been playing with it for this for a couple of hours. So um, I made sure I had 100% charge. Now, if this actually fails halfway through the charge, uh, I need to find a cable I can charge. I, they, I know they do make them. I don't know. I, this one originally was supposed to do that. It was supposed to be able to charge, and you could use a USB at the same time, but it, it never worked. So maybe just a bad cable. I don't know. So all right. So yeah, I mean, this is a... Uh, all right, I'll get to the next step where I'm dealing with the partitioning, so. See all those partitions there? I'm going to delete all those partitions, but I don't know if I'm going to mess the shit up or not. It's going to wipe this whole thing out. Yeah, like I said, I'm not too familiar now with, like, I don't know if it's called Wimboot or something. It's like a new, this new booting process. I guess we will see. I fucked this up. I'm just going to hit next. Yeah, I did actually make a recovery USB. I think you saw that in the other video. I don't know if that would help or not, you know, if I had to fix anything, but. All right, so once this is done installing, if it does go through the full installation, then I will uh, be back here in Windows 10 and I'll check the partitions and uh, make sure all the drivers are loaded and test the GPS. And that's the most important thing for this tablet was the GPS. All right, back here. I have, um, Touchscreen's not working yet, so I still have my. I'm gonna go on the internet and go to 
Toshiba's website down the drivers, but let me show you the, uh, as you can see, I'm missing lots of little uh, things here. And uh, so I need to get all those drivers from uh, Windows, but the, I guess the main thing I want to show you here, and I mean, that's just like your typical any other, you know, computer when you have to load drivers, you know, you just got to go to the manufacturer's website and get them. Um, but for me, I went through all this because I wanted to get more free space. And I have it, so less partitions, more free space. Okay, that's cool. So I'm going to do the drivers go and uh, make sure these are all loaded. And uh, because right now I can't use my touch screen. It's... Oh, no, I guess it, well, it is working now, so I guess I, I forgot it was a uh, Windows tries to load the drivers in the background as soon as it, it, it uh, boots up the first time. So it's trying to look for uh, these things here, so. All right. Yeah, so that's working now. Right, cool. So now I can actually unplug my keyboard and this USB hub and plug in the power again. All right, cool. Windows 10, Toshiba Encore. So yeah, in the next video, I'll probably I'll put like a put in my bronc and I'll do the GPS test. All right.